One of the best things that's happened in agriculture, in my opinion, in the last 20 years, is we've gotten better fungicides and we've got good insecticides now for corn seed treatments. And a lot of those are put on by the seed company. So a lot of people think, I've already got two fungicides on there, maybe even three. I've got a good insecticide. I don't need to do anything else. But we are starting to get some questions about some of these newer biological products and others that, hey, should I be throwing this on my corn seed? Is that going to help? Will it pay? All right, well, one of those seed treatments that we've been using for a long time on our farm is called Quikrits. It's a beneficial fungi and a beneficial bacteria, and they actually work together. And this seems really strange because normally fungi and bacteria, they like different conditions and they don't necessarily want to work together. With Quikrits, they finally got a product where, where they're using a bacteria and a fungi together and they're both good for the crop. What we're seeing is better early season root growth. We're seeing more root hairs and that allows the plants to explore a greater volume of soil and bring in more nutrients. So on our farm, of course, we hear things like this and we're very skeptical. So, all right, we'll try it on a few acres and see what we see. Well, we did and we gained yield. And then we tried a few more acres. Finally, we did a side-by-side -side where we split the planter. It was 10 different fields, roughly 1,000 acres, so 10 different varieties, and our average yield gain was eight bushels. And we're not here today to try to talk you into using quick roots or out of it or into using any other product. All we're saying is consider some of these newer biological products. I know it seems weird and scary, and it's like, oh, I'm trying to cut dollars and save money. I get all that. But by the same token, we're trying to make money too. So at least try some of these things on your farm. Run some side-by-sides. That's how we did it and decided what we're doing today. The other big thing is there is more potential out there with all these different products on the market. And I know that, again, when I talk about cutting dollars, everybody says, well, I have to cut down to a certain amount. You just don't have to cut anything if it's making you money. So look at quick roots. Look at some of the other biologicals that are coming. And, you know, this isn't a seed treatment or anything, but we have been putting this right on or near the seed. Headline in furrow, we've gotten good response out of that too. The big thing that we're just trying to encourage you today is there are plenty of other options out there besides just what comes on the seed. And then in addition to that, we want you to do your own trials on your farm. Give it a shot on just a few acres and see, hey, if this is paying, then go for it. But what I encourage you to do too is you've got to really look hard at the results. Because let's say that, well, something like Quick Ritz might cost you five bucks an acre. All right, well, if I had three bushels of corn, I more than double my money. Are you really gonna see a three bushel difference show up on the yield monitor? Probably not. In, I mean, we had a lot of corn. Our, our farm average is almost 220 bushels this last year. So you're talking less than one and a half percent gain. Are you gonna see a one and a half percent gain show up? Are there any products that are gonna give you a 20% gain where visually you say, wow, that looks like a whole right. different hybrid out there. It's not no, gonna happen. They just don't exist. So you have to, when you're putting these products on and, and setting up your plan, do it so you can evaluate things. If you're gonna split a planter, that's fine. Mark it very well in the field so you know exactly where those splits are and then harvest it accordingly. Weigh those strips out and see exactly what you do. Otherwise, you can reset the yield monitor at the beginning of each round and you can look, hey, how many pounds did I get this round? How many pounds did I get the next round? Let's do a few of those comparisons. Then, if you say, well, I have this type of soil on my farm and this other type of soil, they're the two predominant soils, set it up with your best hybrid on these two different soils so you can see what it looks like. And maybe you find something that, wow, that works on this type of ground very well for me not so much on this type of ground, great. Use it on that one soil type and gain every year from here on out. The big thing that a lot of people say is, I don't want to take any extra time at planting. I got to get my seed in the ground. I know early planting pays, okay? But I also know that I want to do jobs that pay me a lot of money. And if it's something where it literally takes me 10 minutes to go dump some stuff in the planter box, maybe stir it up really quick, I mean, I might make $5,000 from a job that took me 10 minutes. So don't just automatically think, well, I just I can't take any more time at planting. Yes, you probably can if it pays you enough. You just need to run the trials to find out, does it pay you enough to justify your time? Well, and when you look at the highest yielding producers across the country, they're always trying a few of these new things out every year. How many of them pay? Not that many. Maybe you try five new things, and now, hey, out of that trying five different things, you found something that really, really works for you. Well, you shouldn't need to try five different things to control our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you what's going to stop this weed coming up next.